Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. And we have a, a repeat here. This is Uncle Devin, the percussionist. I mean, he's trying to get a Grammy. And what he's doing is just fantastic. He, he has his guitar here before he brought, remember he brought all sorts of instruments. But the fact is, he's gonna tell us a little bit about this uh, uh, Grammy Award that uh, he's going to be considered for. So if you see this a publication, just take a good look at it. Tell us, tell us about this uh, book again. Some of you all may, may uh, had to go to the kitchen or something, you know what I mean, you missed this. But tell us about it, Uncle Devin. <laughs> yes, all right, Mr. Brown, thank you again for letting me be on the show. Um, and it's an honor to be here. Um, the book, uh, the, the actual, the, the Grammy, I, I submitted my book in, uh, called The ABCs of Percussion. Uh -huh. It's uh, a wonderful picture book that describes one percussion instrument um, for every letter of the alphabet. Uh -huh. But it comes with the audio music CD. And that's, that's, that's the part that really makes a difference. Yes. Because I took mine and I gave it to my great grandchild. They yes. said, hey, Ed, don't give it to her. <laughs> said she's only nine months old. Uh, right. <laughs> she's tearing up, but anyway. Well, but the uh, good thing about the audio is that even if they're not at the point to be able to read it, mm -hmm. um, they'll be able to hear each instrument. Which is great. Yes. That's, that's very unique. Right, thank that's, you. That's, that's very unique to thank have you. it like that, you know, so they, right. they, they can really do that. Mm -hmm. But what we're going to do, we're going to take time here and, and look at some of the work that Doing, and we'll come back and we'll talk about that. See you in a second. Now, this is how the story unfolds. It's about Trey, who was eight years old. You see, his daddy was a preacher, a Sunday school teacher, and his mother was poor as gold. He didn't spend much time with his friends. Neighborhood events he would hardly attend. Without missing a beat, he spent six days a week in church from beginning to end. One day he got a reprieve. To attend his friend's party, he couldn't believe. It was down the street at the end of the week, a birthday party for his friend named Steve. At the party, everything was fine until somebody yelled through the Soul Train line. Now, in case you don't know, this is a dance solo. Everybody had to do it and shine. Children ran out to the dance floor, formed two lines as they came through the door. They went up and down and turned all around and did all types of dances galore. It was Trey's turn and his heart flew. Dance outside of church, he didn't know what to do. He gave them a glance and just took a chance and did the only dance that he knew. It was the ushers, the church ushers dance. It's the ushers, the church ushers dance. Everybody's eyes were agleam. Look at Trey, they were all amazed. I said, remarkably, he was cool as can be. Everybody just looked in the daze. Trey thought that he would get teased. About his crazy dance, he could hardly believe. That they thought it was neat, how he rocked to the beat. They did his dance, including Steve. Within a week, his dance became a hit. It spread around town pretty quick. It went across the nation and on YouTube station. Trey became known and pretty legit. When people see him now, they applaud. About his new dance that was spreading abroad. We have a question for you in this interview. Now tell us, what is this dance called? It's the Ushers, the Church Ushers dance. It's the Ushers, the Church Ushers dance. He went to the right and to the left, and to the right and to the left. And now up three times, now back three times. And spin to the right and to the left, and to the right and to the left. Now up three times. Now back three times and spin to the right or to the left or to the right or to the left. Now up three times. Now back three times and spin to the right or to the left or to the right or to the left. Now up three times. Now back three times and spin. It's the ushers, the church ushers dance. It's the ushers, the church ushers dance. Now, Trey was in popular demand. Because of this dance, he gained thousands of fans. At every party, it seemed like everybody did his dance, including the band. The more they asked, Trey couldn't say no. Invited to dance at every secular show. Although he loved the attention, he had an apprehension. Less of church, he started to go. Last point about his dancing romance. No more secular parties was his final stance. 
said, I don't want no more. Back to church I go so I can see the real church of today. It's the ushers, the church ushers dance. It's the ushers, the church ushers dance. Now we need everybody to get up and come to the floor. And let's do this dance in honor of all the church ushers who help keep order in church each week. And we also are going to do this for eight-year-old Trey, who had the courage to be himself instead of trying to be like everyone else. When you're true to yourself, great things will happen. So we need the whole family to come on out to the floor and let's do this dance together. Are you ready? Let's go. To the right, or to the left. Or to the right, or to the left. Now up three times. Now back three times. And spin to the right, or to the left. Or to the right, or to the left. Now up three times, now back three times, and spin. We're doing the church of Shirts. How you like that? Wasn't that wonderful? I'm telling you. Hey, Uncle Devin, tell us a little more about the origin of that and, you know, some of the things that occurred there that sure. you like to emphasize. Well, first of all, I had so much fun making the video. Um, mm -hmm. And growing up in the church, you know, especially when you spent a lot of time there, you discover and you learn a lot of different mm -hmm. things. And right. one of the, the greatest uh, aspects of the church I always appreciated was the church ushers. The you know, they're the first group that you see when you come in, the last group right. that you see when you leave. That, that was my, that's what I contributed to the church, uh -huh. all oh, the, okay. the junior usher Junior board. usher board, that's right. And, and, and guess what? Uh -huh. My three grandchildren uh -huh. are ushers at the oh. church, and I didn't have no influence on it, you know. <laughs> well, it's a very, very important position to have. But right. I wanted to do a video that was a, create a new line dance. The line dances are just phenomenal yeah. in society, but I wanted one specifically for children well, and families. That they could relate to. They can relate to. Yeah. And, you know, picking the eight-year-old named Trey to, who had the courage to be himself mm -hmm. also gives a positive message. And, right. Uh, so the video was fun. I, I did it at, uh, excuse me, I did the video at uh, Conti Amy Zion Church, is the church I was born and raised in for the mm -hmm. most part. Mm -hmm. And then also, at, uh, that's in Northeast Washington, D.C. And then John Wesley Amy Zion Church yeah. uh, down on uh, 14th Street in, oh, in Northwest D.C. Great. Local, and, man. Uh, yeah, yeah but they mm -hmm. definitely were local. And you had ushers from all over, including Lomax Amy Zion Church out in, um, in mm -hmm. Arlington, Virginia. Right. The good thing about the video also is the, the reception that it's been receiving. Mm -hmm. um, thanks to a good friend, uh, Joni Eisenberg, who's a radio personality uh, in the D.C. area, she connected us with an entity with the D.C. Department of mm -hmm. Health and with the National Institute of mm -hmm. Health. So they're thinking of um, putting this program into their system. As a part of a campaign to get mm -hmm. churches to get up and, and be, oh. be active mm -hmm. to help combat the issue of obesity and, and cardiovascular disease and all in our community. Mm -hmm. So right now, and you'll be hearing more, I'll make sure I'll come and, 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 and once we finalize it, but we want to try to find some way to do a challenge where we can get churches and ushers and all to be uh, a part of and do this mm -hmm. as a part of uh, mm -hmm. healthy, uh, healthy activity and movement. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so, so actually, just just like the 
the, the, as an attraction to the uh, youngsters, just like your orange T-shirt. <laughs> yes. When I saw, I said that T-shirt is outstanding. Tell Thank us you. a little bit about it. Well, it's, and who it's, designed it? Well, you it's, did, it's did the, you? I, I wish I could design this. <laughs> um, I have to give the credit to my fiance Lolita, who. Uh -huh. um, uh, we came up with the colors because when you're working in, in, with children, they love colors. The bright colors yeah, the are very brighter important. the better. And the logo, actually, we both uh, des um, designed it through the co through the assistance of an online service, mm -hmm. um, and it kind of conveys everything that we want, and it, mm -hmm. and and, um, and and it also gives us some level of uniformity. And mm -hmm. so I hope to be able to have some available for sale mm -hmm. in a very short, in a very mm -hmm. near future. But the idea is that. Uh, that orange is attractive. You know? What it is for many reasons for yeah. me, but of course I went, you know, growing mm. up in Prince George's County in my high school colors, oh, Duval High School. Oh, this is high school orange, colors orange and black. Too. Yeah, so right. it, it definitely oh, sets well with me. Great. Right? Now, now tell us a little bit about the instrumentation there. What kind of instrument? Give us the background there. Well, okay, well this is actually called a ukulele. Most people will oh, say ukulele. Ukulele, but it, that's but what I would say too. Exactly, yeah. but I, I just came back from a, a, ukulele, a ukulele festival at mm. the Strathmore last month. Uh -huh. um, and um, and it's really, it has its origins all around the world, but you, it's more popularized in, in Hawaii. Right. And although ukulele. I'm a drummer and a percussionist, this has really helped me a lot in a lot of my shows to be able to uh, play some songs and play some uh -huh. rhythms behind it that children will know. Mm -hmm. Basic songs, um, whether it's for the infants when you're just doing um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, or if I'm doing something more like a Stevie Wonder piece. Mm -hmm. You are uh -huh. the sunshine uh -huh. of my life. And you, I just, you, get, you get them involved too. The they start clapping the hand and, and well, moving the head. And, all. and it's a great <laughs> instrument to teach them all types of music. I love and I grew up on jazz music. Is that right? And so with my with the accompaniment that I may have, like uh, Mr. Grasshopper is my uh, mm -hmm. my partner at times. Okay. He comes. And, and participates. Okay, Mr. Grasshopper, uh, give us an illustration. Okay, well, 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 he's my flute player, but he's what, a, I, what I've learned now to do is to create songs using the ukulele. So I'll just give you one quick oh, verse. Oh, I see. Yeah, one you quick, create songs. Yes. I, I, I'm, I'm learning more about mm -hmm. the technique of it. So, for mm -hmm. example, the importance of thinking. How many times have children heard their parents say, you're not thinking. You didn't think before you did that. You didn't, mm -hmm. you know. So I did a song called Thinking, and um, mm -hmm. it's just real simple songs. Hey, everybody got a message for you. It's something every day that you must do. Let me tell you something. It won't cost you nothing. Learn right from wrong or what's false and what's true. It can be done in the sun or the rain. Using the muscle in your head called the brain. Information is fine to develop your mind all the time. What is it called? That's called thinking. You got to be thinking. And that's just a quick verse of, uh, it's gonna be on my upcoming uh, uh, album mm -hmm. that's gonna be coming out early in uh, June, mm -hmm. in, in 2016, mm -hmm. called Be Yourself. So I'm using this to be able to enhance what I do with the drums and the yeah. percussion. Now, now, all of this is a, a learning process. Yes. Uh, 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 tell us, how did you get the idea of uh, utilizing music? Mm -hmm. you, know, uh, you know, because that, that has a tendency to keep, uh, not only attract the youngsters' yes. attention, but keep it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, well, primarily through my nephews and niece. That's how Is I that became right? Uncle Devin. Um, when they were younger, it, uh -huh. I found it was one of the easiest ways for me to entertain them when I was babysitting. Or uh, when when you were on. babysitting, <laughs> yeah. keep, keep, keep their weight <laughs> off of That's you. That's right. That, absolutely. <laughs> keep and, them busy and, so you can <laughs> rest. <laughs> exactly. And so what I would do is uh, I would play music for them. And as they got older, I started to record it just mm -hmm. so that they can always have it to remember. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think it was my niece and uh, took it to school and let some of her friends hear it. So mm. when I went to go to see one of her recitals, children ran up to me and said, hey, Uncle Devin, we love your music. <laughs> Uncle Devin. And I said, hey, we have that, something that, here. That's how you got your that's how, title. That's how it came, came about, Uncle Devin. No, no kidding. So it's a, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a natural yeah. progression from you know, this yeah. work I've been doing with my nephews and niece. Yeah, from, from involvement in a family atmosphere. That's right. Yeah, that, that's what uh, came out of that. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and it's easy to get and convey 
positive, well, any, you, can, you can relay positive or negative messages. And mm -hmm. the problem that we see in society nowadays is that the, the majority of mass media just plays negative stuff. It yeah. hears sex, yeah. drugs, and violence. Right. Uh -huh. And unfortunately, there's no children's music industry that's large enough to insulate our children from hearing that. So children mm -hmm. end up doing and listening to whatever the adults mm -hmm. listen to. Right. And many of us are listening to uh, songs that really have no value in mm -hmm. progressively raising up society. No, no, uh, no value in learning. And, and definitely and, nothing. And, in and just like you have a system, mm -hmm. and, and this is what you utilize, you utilize the system mm -hmm. with the, uh, the message that you're yes. trying to get over with music. Absolutely. And that's the key. And, and and then and it's not always about directly just educating. It's mm -hmm. also just enjoying enjoying yourself. yourself. That's the uh -huh, that, yeah. to me that's a part of education. Uh -huh, just sure. being happy and um, mm -hmm. and and you can use it to resuscitate old school songs play them in a modern day way and you can mm -hmm. have some fun with it so mm -hmm. so we, we I, I, I love I, I just started playing this two years ago and I can't put it down. It's just mm -hmm. every night mm -hmm. I'm learning different um, songs off of here that I can um, you know, hopefully can translate into my, my show. Because you develop, this is the way you uh, you develop your learning to, mm -hmm. tool with the uh, associating it with uh, music and yes. education. You, you, in fact, when they started taking music out of schools, you started mm -hmm. to see a decline in, in behavior. That's right. You, you, I remember you, yeah. you had to have, uh, yeah. uh, uh, what do they call it, music. Yes. Uh, uh, that was a curriculum. That's curriculum. I mean, yeah. if you look at ancient African civilizations in mm -hmm. Egypt, mm -hmm. part of the initiation process to be part of that culture was you had to go through the fine arts. Mm -hmm. Fine mm -hmm. arts is, is essential to any development of any society. And so mm -hmm. my goal is to help um, bring it back, uh, to play my part to help children understand that music can be used to learn mm -hmm. math, science, mm -hmm. economics, you name it. Mm -hmm. And that, that's really one of the goals of it. So, so I wanted to bring this here, and 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 as you mentioned, and as you've always mentioned, the importance of visual arts. Yeah. The importance of doing <laughs> videos now. So the video that we just saw yeah. conveys a message, and yet it's so much fun. People don't mm -hmm. realize that they're learning as much as it is just enjoying yeah, themselves. Right. Exactly. Or, or the book that we have. The book is excellent visuals, but it's also audio where they can hear instruments. Yeah. And now they're learning about mm -hmm. instruments. Because from around see, the world. That, that's an attraction. Uh, uh, really having that uh, uh, video, I thought that was a unique yes. idea Thank you. to uh, have that uh, video there mm -hmm. so they could associate themselves with uh, uh, music. And you should, uh, right now, the number of young people that, uh, that I know and mm -hmm. those that saw the video are contacting um, us to see if they can be in upcoming videos. Mm -hmm. So I have, you know, I'm gonna do a video for the song called Thinking. I have mm -hmm. another song called When I Play the Drums that mm -hmm. um, if anyone is interested, contact the Uncle Devin Show, mm -hmm. theuncledevinshow.com. Okay, tell us, uh, what's some of your favorite? Uh, in terms of? In terms of My your, songs? Yeah, or, right. Well, that, that you've had, that you really enjoy. You named a few that okay. you... Well, I will say uh, definitely the Church Usher dance that you just saw, and I need to also give credit to Matthew Whitaker, uh, who I um, contacted, and he helped me to produce that song and, and mm -hmm. the music for it. Um, you've seen the video, and we shared it on previous yeah. shows, called I Like Onions. Yo, uh, yeah. that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I like onions. Oh, yeah, I like onions. Uh, that, that, to me, uh, is one of my favorites. And, of course, even... Oh, let, let's hear that what, one. Oh, see, oh yeah. let's see what we got here. Yeah, I don't know so if let's I... Um, see. Let's see what we... I'm doing them by muscle memory now. <laughs> just give you one quick verse. Right. I just sit around and try to figure out just why do onions make me cry? Next, I ask this to myself, not just for my health, why onions make bad breath? Cause I love to eat them in my salad or in some of my favorite foods. Cause I don't care about the tears and breath Cause onions, they taste real good I like onions So that's just a little, oh, little wow. short version of it yes. <laughs> That was my favorite <laughs> And that You're... video was fun doing it too um, Yeah, uh, and, and, and really uh, uh, you can re relate to a lot of things as far as education Yes You know, and, and the realization 
uh, that people can see in the song, in the words. Yes. Uh, they can associate, you know, uh, onions make you cry. Yes. And weep That's and, right. Uh, and, and all of that. But uh, uh, really, nutritionally, onions That's, are good for you. I mean, and, and, it's, and one of the beautiful things about onions is that mm. no matter what you do to it, it mm. never loses its nutritional value. Right. You can cut it, you can fry it, you can saute it, you can uh, do whatever, but it always maintains its consistency. Right, that right, way. right. And so I love it. And uh, local uh, sax saxophonist, uh, Brian Lanier, mm -hmm. his daughter uh, was in my video. Um, is that right? She was, I think she was three years old at the time. And, uh, uh, and she was just uh, uh, charmed. Of, you know, I'm so uh -huh. glad she was uh, had a chance to come and be a part of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. As they watched me eat, I made and ate. A oh, real you live did. Oh, you illustrated. I, I created, I made an onion pie and I actually onion. ate it in the video. No kidding. It was onion actually pretty pie. good. Yeah, I, I didn't realize there was a, a recipe for it, but it Wait, tastes a little bit like quiche. Uh, quiche. Yeah, Is that right? you add eggs I to never it. had it. I don't know. Maybe that's <laughs> too much onion. <laughs> it's a lot of onions. Though. It's that's a lot sure. of onions, you but know. But it really wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, but it, well, the nutritional value, uh, now I, uh, I recall the uh, the purple onion mm -hmm. is supposed to be the highly nutritional onion. I think but the, I the darker it was, I the, think I've heard some something similar. I, I can't yeah, confirm that. Yeah, me yeah. either. You know, but but there's different colors. You got right. red. You, you got, got yellow. Right. You got green, which is the scallions, mm -hmm. and you have um, you know, I even talk about you got purple, mm -hmm. white, and red, mm -hmm. and then there's the green onion. Mm -hmm. yes. And see what happens is that the, uh, that makes the young young youngsters think about it because they they deal with the onion you yes. know what i mean and pros and cons as yes. far as dislike and like but you, generally they uh look at it as uh something that they can associate themselves with whether they like it or not yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. You know? absolutely and many don't even realize it's a vegetable right you know because we just look at it as just something you put on top of a burger and keep you know yeah, a pizza or a something a burger like a hot dog, hot or, dog something. or something yeah no. make sure you know you and get the onions, mustard, and That's ketchup. That's right. I mean, well, those, uh, those are the major. Absolutely. The major one. Absolutely. And, and they can uh, associate themselves with that. Yes, you know? absolutely. <laughs> when you talk about onions. But Ooh. the the mode of uh, uh, them learning, mm -hmm. uh, it really has a lot to do in learning atmosphere. Yes. And I yes. think uh, with uh, your book, Association mm -hmm. with... Uh, the atmosphere mm -hmm. of whatever yes. you're trying, just like you were saying, it's a uh, different subject. Yes. Matters. Math yes. Yeah, can be, be associated with that. And, and we're about, I mean, and the, and the show is really growing. The Uncle Devin mm -hmm. show is really growing. We're mm -hmm. going to be taking our first trip uh, to Boston. Yeah, uh, tell us a, a little the, bit about the, it. On the 26th of September, mm -hmm. uh, fellow uh, children's artists, uh, Karen and the Jitterbugs is what mm -hmm. they called the Jitterbugs. And, yeah, the Jitterbugs. <laughs> and I Boy, have, you, you go a long way <laughs> back. When you said and you should see. I mean, and, and, and they they use that history to to, to teach children with it. Right. And, yeah, and uh, I had I had the pleasure of performing with them at uh, the Smithsonian this year. Is that right? And so it's she's, Smithsonian. Yeah, and uh, uh -huh. we're down at the Discovery Theater. Uh huh. And uh, so we'll be back up there, and on the 26th they have a huge festival, and I, uh -huh. I don't remember all the specific name of it, but mm -hmm. if anybody's interested in knowing more about it, they can just go to my website at uh, uh -huh. the Uncle uh -huh. Devin Show. Uh -huh. I spell Devin D E V I N, uh -huh. not O N. Uh -huh. uh, and then you can find more information there. <laughs> Plus, I'm I'm already scheduled for four shows at the Discovery Theater again uh, for February coming mm. up, uh, as well as <coughs> I'm uh, just finished booking uh, two, two libraries here mm -hmm. at the uh, Prince George's County Library System. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm coming back home from mm -hmm. C Pleasant, and I I just can't wait to um and to be back. Home is C Pleasant. Yeah, grew up in C Pleasant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey. Uh, Homeboy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So things have been going well with the show. and uh, But I just encourage anyone to, if you see someone that's a children's music artist, whether you have children or not, support them. Mm -hmm. We don't have the type of industry uh, that the R&B or jazz or rock mm -hmm. and roll has. Right. And it's such a vital music. Pick it up and just give it to a child. Just give it to give it to a parent to of a child so that they can have their own music. You right. have your own music, and children should have theirs. Mm. And, and instead of uh, inundating them with these videos, oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! You know that, that, that seems uh, electronics are great. Yes, uh, yeah, I mean it's a great step as far as improvement, mm -hmm. but uh, sometime and especially 
the utilization of uh, the time it takes mm -hmm. from the initiative that a child can use is negative. Yes, absolutely. You know, because, they, hey, <laughs> and you're sitting there, they're sitting there and yes. they're looking at something. They're, physically, they're not moving, mm -hmm. which is no good, mm -hmm. now, you know, and they're just sitting there pushing buttons or yeah. Yeah. hitting it. And, and if you think about it, most of our social events, we don't even factor in events for children. No, we so, don't. You know, so you go to an event and the children are literally doing the dances that the adults are doing. Yeah. We even encourage them. Right. Get out there and do the stinky legs. Go yeah. out there and do, you know. Right. And again, I'm not, I don't know much about the history of the stinky legs, but there's some dances that we sh really uh -huh. shouldn't have children uh -huh. doing. Right. Children should have their own dances. So right. I said, right. don't let me just talk about it. Let me create one, the church right. dance. And, and that's the same thing if you observe uh, adult games uh, in sports. Yes. Uh, you, you, <laughs> you find that the kids at the baseball game, they're doing everything but watching whatever's that's going right. That's right. <laughs> activity. <laughs> Whatever's going with it's baseball, football, or whatever, mm -hmm. they're running back and forth, jumping, and, and activity. Yes. And see, that's the greatest thing that uh, I think that uh, with your book can start really getting pe youngsters activity yes. involved instead of sitting around watching a, a video yes. uh, two or three hours. Na well, name some, quickly, name mm -hmm. some of the other instruments that you or introduced to the youngsters. Okay, well one, you have the djembe, of course, is mm. one of the more popular instruments, but uh -huh. you have um, uh, the uh, igba, mm. the igba drum out of West Africa. We mm. have the xylophone, mm. uh, the piano, you said you oh, used yeah, to the play piano. piano. That's right. People that's don't realize that's a percussion instrument. That's what I was introduced instrument. to, yes. it was the piano. Yes. Everybody then, everybody had a 800 pound gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> 800 pound uh, uh, yeah. piano That's in the right. house, you know, and That's you right. had, and then you had one at church, you That's know, right. so that you, you always mean, had the piano. You, you, you were really uh, involved. And, and tell us a little bit about, oh, we got a, a few seconds here. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the, your consideration for the Grammy and how, how mm -hmm. it's going. Well, I submitted my book uh, mm -hmm. with the music CD for Grammy, and now it's, it's, going, it's, look, it's a consideration in the children's music category. Mm -hmm. So now it's up to my colleagues to choose the top five who will be considered uh, mm -hmm. Grammy nominated. Mm -hmm. So anyone wants to help me with that process, of course, mm -hmm. you purchasing a book will help. Mm -hmm. But secondly, um, um, it's really me reaching out to my colleagues mm -hmm. and letting them know about it. But but actually, uh, it, it's centered around uh, the, your uniqueness in the, your development of music for youngsters. Yes, See, specifically, and, and for that, specifically for that. Mm specifically -hmm. for that, which you really uh, you really don't uh, see that. Yeah, very, very little of that. Uh, is done now. That's right. That's why you I know, put it right here. It, live music it, for children. We said uh, video, fine. You know what I mean. Yes. And the youngs, oh, you get into electronics. Yes. That, that'll be something. So we wish you, uh, you know, well Thank with you. that uh, Grammy and everything. And hey, remember wh what you're going to do. You're going to make sure that you, when you win that Grammy, you come back on the Ed oh, Brown show. I'm coming okay. back here. We're going to come right back where, here first. This is where he started, <laughs> Uncle Devin. <laughs> Next time you go to a, you know, a place, just think about the kids, okay? They are the ones of the future, and I think this is what Uncle Devin is trying to do, get some of that talent out. See you next time. Uh, hi, how you doing? To welcome everybody as you come through the door. Hi, hello. We welcome you to the Uncle Devin Show. Hi, how you doing? Gonna have fun until it's time to go. Hi, hello. What is your name? Uh, we love to see you smile. Let me see you smile. And now make an angry growl. Ah. I said, we love to see your nose. Can you wiggle <laughs> your nose? <laughs>